Babylon is falling. Calendar counterfeit on mask. He who rules over the calendar rules over the nations. Key number nine. Key number nine was researched and produced by 144,000teachers.org. For seminars, conferences, and enrollment, please contact us at 144,000teachers at gmail.com. For further studies, visit our website at 144,000teachers.org. Babylon is falling. AD 325 and the Nicene Decree. From the time of the Nicene Decree until the present day, it has been passed on from generation to generation that the Jewish Passover was at the first full moon after the equinox of spring. The tables of the modern Jewish calendar follow this plan. In Christ's days, many historians both ancient and modern, have taken it for granted that the Jews had always kept their Passover at this time and that such was therefore the case in the days of Christ. The Kiriites' Opposition The Kiriites, who closely adhered to the Sadducean literature and represent a pre-rabbinical view of the Mosaic Law, apparently have been the chief opponents to this ruling. Their prolonged polemic with the Rabbinites in the 8th and 9th centuries is an evidence that such a regulation of the Jewish Passover was not the original precept of Moses. This far-reaching influence of the Kiriite teaching made itself felt upon the Advent movement in 1844. The Original Mosaic Law since the original Mosaic Law, not the Mishnaic or Talmudic reflection of it, involved a barley harvest Pascal moon instead of an equinoctial moon, the question naturally arises as to when this change was made and how it came about. The Jewish calendar not yet fixed. In the Jewish period following the destruction of Jerusalem, the Sanhedrin at Jamnia became the heart of the Jewish nation. The Jewish calendar had not yet been permanently fixed and had to be regulated from time to time. Taken from the Grey Samadon Collection, Crucifixion Date, Part 5, Excerpts from Slides 3 to 8. Jamnia School, the source of the Mishnah. At Jamnia, prior to the destruction of Jerusalem, Rabbi Yohanan ben Zakei founded a school of Jewish law, which became a major source for the later Mishnah. His school is often understood as a wellspring of rabbinic Judaism. The Moon, Sun, and Barley Harvest at that time, the festivals were still dependent upon the course of the moon and upon the influence of the sun on the harvest. A leap year of 13 months. Every two or three years, the solar year exceeded the lunar by about a month, and a month was inserted, making a leap year of 13 months. This intercalary month was announced by the Patriarch in a circular letter to the community. The Maturity of the Barley About 50 days before the Passover, witnesses examined the state of the barley to determine if it would be ripe in time for the feast. Since the days of Moses, the maturity of the barley had been a determining factor in regulating the Hebrew year. Early Christians celebrated Pascha. Up until the Council of Nicaea, the Christian Pascha, especially in the East, had been celebrated for the most part at the time of the Jewish Passover, and indeed upon the days calculated and fixed by the Sanhedrin in Judea for a celebration. Babylon is falling. Europe and Passover. On the contrary, in Europe, some earlier, some later, were intercalating the months, 
The Europeans were placing their cycle at the equinox and were celebrating the Passover on the next full moon after the equinox. A time of persecution. These contentions had agitated the church since the time of the Roman bishop Victor, who had persecuted the Church of Asia for following the 14-day heresy, as they called it, in reference to the Passover. Judaism and Christianity separation. But at the Council of Nicaea, the last thread was snapped, which connected Christianity with its parent stock, Judaism. The future Easter observance was to be rendered independent of Jewish calculation, according to the words attributed to Emperor Constantine. Constantine's Declaration Henceforward, let us have nothing in common with this odious people. Our Savior has shown us the path. It would indeed be observed if the Jews were able to boast that we are not in a position to celebrate the Passover without the aid of their rules. In the subsequent years, the Jews went through iron and fire. The Christian emperors forbade the Jewish computation of the calendar and did not allow the announcement of the feast days. Gretz says, The Jewish communities were left in utter doubt concerning the most important religious decisions as pertaining to their festivals. The immediate consequence was the fixation and calculation of the Hebrew calendar by Eel II, who in AD 359 placed above the dignity of the Patriarchate, the unity and cohesion of the scattered Jewish communities to whom he made known the secret of Jewish reckoning. The Destruction of the Temple of the Law the decree of Nicaea destroyed the temple of the law of Judea, as it were, and the ancient regulation of Moses for harmonizing the course of the moon with that of the sun through the barley season was ultimately replaced by calculations involving the vernal equinox. Easter, the Roman Catholic Feast From this equinoctial point, the Roman Catholic Church build up our ecclesiastical calendar and its Easter feast. It is easy to gloss over the real significance of the Council of Nicaea. The Jewish and Roman Catholic festivals. In the end, it turned out that both the Jewish and Roman Catholic festivals came to be computed from the same point of time, the vernal equinox based on the lunisolar cycles and the vernal equinox instead of the barley season. Passover on the 15 instead of the 14. After the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70, Passover came to be observed on both Abib 14 and 15 of the first month of the biblical year. In the end, the computed calendar of the Jew preferred Abib 15 for the feast, and it is a feature of the modern Jewish calendar of today. Babylon is falling, bitter conflict over Easter. This early controversy in Jewry formed the background of the bitter conflict over Easter, which began in the second century among the Christian. The argument was still over the same question, the 14 or the 15 of Abib. Babylon is falling, Easter, Sunday after Passover. The Christian feast of Easter was placed on the first Sunday after the Jewish Passover, which was confirmed as Luna 14 of the first month. Taken from the Grace Amadon Collection, Crucifixion Date, Part 5, pages 16 to 31, and the slides covering 10 to 26. Babylon is falling. The Catholic Church secured Sunday. One of the first aims of the apostate Roman Church was the exaltation of Sunday as the chief sacred day, and no sooner had the Catholic Church made herself sure of the recognition of the state than she secured from the emperor an edict setting apart Sunday especially to the purpose of devotion. 
Babylon is Falling, A.D. 321, The Sunday Law by Constantine. Accordingly, on March 7, A.D. 321, A National Sunday Law in the Spring Season by Constantine, Emperor Augustus as Pontifex Maximus, was issued through his famous Sunday Edict, which read as follows. On the venerable day of the sun, let the magistrates and people residing in cities rest, and let all workshops be closed, based on the Julian solar calendar. The Sunday Law, a religious law. The whole thing was religious. It was the sole prerogative of the Pontifex Maximus to appoint holy days. It was also at the Council of Nicaea that the Bishop of Rome was recognized as the first bishop of the empire, Pope Sylvester, A.D. 314 to 336. Babylon is falling. Sunday set apart in A.D. 325. The Council of Nicaea in A.D. 325 gave another impetus to the Sunday movement. It decided that the Roman customs of celebrating Easter on Sunday only should be followed throughout the whole empire. Now it had gone from a national Sunday law to an international Sunday law. Babylon is falling, Sunday, the day of the sun. Constantine wrote, the rescript commanding the celebration of the Christian Sabbath bears no allusion to its particular sanctity as a Christian institution. It is the day of the sun which is to be observed by the general veneration. Babylon is falling, paganism mingling with Christianity. But the believer in the new paganism, of which the solar worship was the characteristic, might acquiesce without scruple in the sanctity of the first day of the week. According to Schaff, there is no reference whatever in his law either to the fourth commandment or the resurrection of Christ. The Sunday Law and the Civil Power In the Sunday Law, there was given the church control of the civil power. The history of Constantine's time may be searched through and through, and it will be found that in nothing did he give the church any such power except in this one thing, the Sunday law. In this way, the church received help from the state for the furtherance of her ends. Babylon is falling, December 25th the birthday of the sun. About the middle of the 4th century, there was added another form and element of sun worship. Amongst the pagans for ages, December 25th had been celebrated as the birthday of the sun. The pagan god Saturnalia marked the winter solstice, the return of the sun, and honored Saturn, the god of sowing, the reaper. December 25th, the birthday of Christ. In the rings of Domitian and Trajan, Rome formally adopted from Persia the feast of the Persian sun god Mitras as the birth festival of the unconquered sun Natalis and Victi Solis. The Church of Rome adopted this festival and made it the birth of Christ, based on the Roman Julian solar calendar. Babylon is falling, the birthday of the saints. The martyrs, whether real or imaginary, were now honored in the place of the heathen heroes. The day of their martyrdom was celebrated as their birthday and kept the same way as the pagan ceremonial, based on the Roman Julian solar calendar. These texts were taken from the two republics, pages 311, to 328 and 507-508. The slides are from 21 to 30. Babylon is falling, the worship of Virgin Mary. What, however, had never been done before was done in December 1854 in Rome. It was decreed that Mary, the mother of God, who died, rose from the dead, and ascended into heaven, 
should henceforth be worshipped as the Immaculate Virgin conceived and born without sin. This abomination is celebrated by the Roman Catholic Church under the Feast of Immaculate Conception and the Feast of Assumption, taken from the book The Two Babylons from Alexander Islop, page 267. Babylon is falling. Lucifer's rebellion against the law. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 14 I, Lucifer, will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Daniel 7 verse 25 And think to change times and laws. From the beginning of the great controversy in heaven, it has been Satan's purpose to overthrow the law of God. It was to accomplish this that he entered upon his rebellion against the Creator, and though he was cast out of heaven, he has continued the same warfare upon the earth. Taken from the book The Great Controversy, page 582. Babylon is falling. The mystery of Babylon? Worship. Revelation chapter 13 verses 2 and 4. The dragon Satan gave him his power and its seat to the holy see and great authority, and they worshipped the dragon and they worshipped the beast. The prophecy of Revelation chapter 13 declares that the power represented by the beast with lamb-like horns shall cause the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the papacy. Babylon is falling. Sunday observance. Rome supremacy, and that this prophecy will be fulfilled when the lamb-like beast shall enforce Sunday observance, which Rome claims as the special acknowledgement of her supremacy. Taken from the book The Great Controversy, pages 578-579. Worship is based on God the Creator. By the first angel of Revelation chapter 14 verses 6 and 7, men are called upon to fear God and give glory to Him and to worship Him as the Creator of the heavens and the earth. The duty to worship God is based upon the fact that He is the Creator and that to Him all other beings owe their existence. The Evidence of His Creative Power and wherever in the Bible is claimed to reverence and worship above the gods of the Eden, sun, day, and counterfeit calendars is presented, there is cited the evidence of his creative power. Taken from the Great Controversy, pages 436-437. He is the Creator. The importance of the Sabbath as the memorial of creation is that it keeps ever present the true reason why worship is due to God, because He is the Creator and we are His creatures. The Foundation of Divine Worship The Sabbath therefore lies at the very foundation of divine worship, for it teaches this great truth in the most impressive manner, and no other institution does this. The distinction between the Creator and His creatures, the true ground of divine worship, not of that on the seventh day merely, but of all worship, is found in the distinction between the Creator and His creatures. This great fact can never become obsolete and must never be forgotten. The Sabbath in Eden, a sign and memorial. It was to keep this truth before the minds of men that God instituted the Sabbath in Eden. And so long as the fact that He is our Creator continues to be a reason why we should worship Him, so long the Sabbath will continue as its sign and memorial. Taken from the Great Controversy, pages 437-438. The Last Great Conflict in seeking to cast contempt upon the divine statutes, Satan has perverted the doctrines of the Bible, and errors have thus become incorporated into the faith of thousands who profess to believe the scriptures. The last great conflict between truth and error 
is but the final struggle of the long-standing controversy concerning the law of God. Upon this battle we are now entering, a battle between the laws of man and the precepts of Jehovah, between the religion of the Bible and the religion of fable and tradition. Taken from the book The Great Controversy, page 582. Babylon is falling, a radical research. All of this evidence needs to be re-examined in the light of this radical research, for it is so bold, so utterly non-conventional, and so potentially upsetting, radically altering the central aspects of the biblical, astronomical, chronological, historical, cultural, economical, and political understanding of most people, it should not be ignored. Babylon is falling. The last great conflict has begun. We hope this will begin a most interesting debate and critical discussion of all relevant issues for the last great conflict has begun. Choose it this day whom he shall worship, whom he shall serve. <laughs>